Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a pick a card reading for you guys. We're going to find out what is your person's next move towards you, okay? So we have three piles here. Pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. I want you guys to really think about your person, take a few deep breaths, close your eyes. When you open your eyes, the first pile that you're drawn to should be the one for you, okay? If you need more time, please pause the video. And let's get straight into this with pile number one. And yeah, let's find out pile number one. What is this person's next move towards you, okay? Okay, pile number one. Okay, wow, pile number one. Okay, so this person, okay, um, I'm getting that you may not actually be in contact with this person, okay, but this person's watching you from afar. It's like they're watching your every move here. Um, they're sort of like a little bit intimidated to come forward here, okay? It's like they're watching you, they're observing the situation. There's something here about your aura and your energy, okay? They feel like you're a very bright, playful person, pile number one, and they really want to come towards you. They feel a lot of passion towards you, but they also see, like, they, like, are seeing three other people, or a lot of other people, but three people in specific, um, that also want your attention, okay? They're also watching you, and they feel like you're having a lot of fun, okay? Um, and they feel like they're in a really dark spot right now, okay? They do want to come forward, but they feel like they're in a dark spot, and it's like, that's why they're stopping themselves from coming forward, because they look at you and they feel like you're very happy, you're in a good spot right now. I'm getting something about a neck tattoo, like right here, maybe behind the ear. Um, I'm picturing that, and I'm picturing a weed leaf, okay? So, that could resonate for somebody, okay? Um, let me know if it does resonate for you. Yeah, so this person, they really want to come forward. Um, they have a lot of passion here towards you. Now, their next move, I am seeing that this person, again, is a little bit intimidated to come forward, okay? They look at you as the Queen of Wands, like, they definitely put you on a pedestal here. They feel like you're very independent, okay? Again, a lot of people, like, gravitate towards you, pile number one, because they feel like your energy, your aura, like, it's very addictive, very strong, it's very healing, I, I'm hearing McDonald's in my head, so let me know if that resonates, pile number one. So this person wants to make movement now, but again, they're t intimidated. They also feel like you have other options. And I'm getting into their next move. It's going to be very sneaky here, okay? It's going to be very quiet, very sneaky, just like they're watching you when it's very quiet, very sneaky. They really, so the energy of them is like they want this now and they want to make a move right now, but they stop themselves because they're scared of rejection. You could be dealing with a Libra here or a Scorpio. So I am getting that their next move is going to be involving somebody here, okay? I am getting a picture of them reaching out to a friend or a family member um, instead of directly communicating here with you because, again, they're a little bit intimidated. They don't really know where you're at. They also feel like you're very happy, pile number one, and they don't want to disturb your happiness with their darkness. They do feel like they're in a dark spot right now, okay? So they actually want to balance things out before they do come forward. But I am seeing that it's like they want to come forward. They want to take this leap of faith here towards you now. But they stop themselves from fear, okay? Like they want this now. I am getting that they might communicate with you very soon. But it could be through somebody else. This communication is going to make you very happy, I'm getting. Because you thought this was over. Because this person hasn't been communicating, okay? It's like they've been avoiding this. They've been running away from this. Yeah, so with the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles, um, this person has put you on a pedestal. Like, they literally feel like you're out of their league, okay? They want to come forward, but 
it's like they're watching you on social media or something and they feel like you have a lot of opportunity to get to a lot of people here around you. Um, you seem to be having fun partying, you know. Um, so, yeah, I am getting that they are wanting to come through. So this is either on, like, a through a friend or a family member or on a fake account pretending to be somebody else, right? So this could be your divine masculine. You could have been waiting for this person for a long time. You could be dealing with an Aries here. I'm hearing Robert, the name Robert. Let me know if that resonates for you. Yeah, so you thought that this was over, okay? And it's like you put this connection to the side here. Um, this person, okay, they're going to come in and they're going to let you know that they're in love with you, okay? Just, they're trying to gain the confidence to come forward. They want to come forward now, but they stop themselves, okay? Fear comes in. Yeah, this person's been really unhappy without you, right? They feel like they've made the wrong choice in this connection in the past, okay? They could have done something that hurt you here that ended this connection. Um, you may have cut them off or blocked them. And they've been in a really dark dark place, okay? They really want another opportunity here with you. And I'm getting something about the number 13. Let me know if that resonates. You could be dealing with a Gemini here. person is convincing themselves that they're not good enough for the connection they know they're in love with you and they feel a very strong soul connection here um but they're keeping themselves away because they feel like they're not good enough for you um again they've put you on this pedestal here and randomly i had i just got really hot in the face wow um so that could resonate for somebody It's like this person gets embarrassed, okay, because they feel like they're really not good enough for you. So if they do come forward, they really get a rejection here, okay? I'm getting 888. Let me know if that resonates. So pile number one, this person has very strong feelings here for you. Um, and it's like they're trying to hold them back. They try. It's like they have all these emotions here for you that they're like holding to themselves. They're getting um, guided to let you know. But this person is like, I'm hearing um, strategy, okay? They're trying to figure out a plan on how to come forward. They do feel this connection. But the thing is, this person keeps putting um, too much thought into it, Okay. Like, they get guided to do something, and then they try to research about it. They really think about it. Um, it's like they're trying to put logic on this spiritual connection. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, so, you are the perfect wish fulfillment, okay? You're everything that they want, Okay. But they're having a hard time moving forward because of fear. They do have a lot of insecurity here about the connection and about themselves. And they really do look like they really do look at you like you're perfect, like you're everything that they've ever wanted. Um, and it's like they really want this now, they want to take a step forward, but they also are, are intimidated by uh, the amount of options that you have, okay? There's also something about your confidence here. And it's like this person is really confident as well, okay? But the thing is, when it comes to this connection and you, there's a lot of fears that come up, okay? I am getting that this person may come at you um, with a sexual offer. Oh, wow. Wow, okay, so we got the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups, okay? This person's in love with you. They also know about this twin flame journey. They feel this connection, okay? And they want this stable connection, okay? With the Nine of Cups as well. Like, this is everything that they want, they've ever wanted. Um, 
it's like talking to you, just makes them really excited. There's somebody around this person that doesn't like this connection, okay? Uh, this could be a, a friend or a family member. Somebody close to this person also could be a Leo um, that does not like this connection and is advising this person away from this connection for some reason. But this person really wants to go... I mean, they're in love with you here, okay? They're in love with you. They can't deny it. They want this brand new beginning here with you. And it's like they tried to walk away from this in the past, but it, they can't let this go. This person I'm hearing wants to put a ring on your finger. So I'm getting that they really want to commit um, very quickly. There is something about a ring, okay? This person really wants to give you a ring. In the past, they were holding back their feelings, okay? 11-11 on the clock. Now, it's like they're stepping away from that. They don't really want to hold back their feelings anymore. They want to go for this. Like, this makes them happy. They don't care what anybody thinks anymore. Um, but they are intimidated by you and they feel like that you're happy. Um, and they feel like they're going through some stuff, they're working through some stuff before they, like, they feel like if they do come in, they could bring a lot of, like, burden into your life, right, but you are their wish fulfillment, like, you are everything they want, they have definitely put you on a pedestal though, right, it's really scared of rejection here, like, they really want to communicate here with you, but they stop themselves, and then they feel stupid, it's like this person, they see that you have a lot of options around you, pile number one. They really want to be with you. And what holds them back is that they feel like that you didn't have better. Also, they feel like that there could be a better option around you here, pile number one. Again, I am getting that this person is going to send you a message, okay? And it could start off very, like, sexual, okay, 12.21 on the clock. Um, but then it's like union and I'm getting that this literally in twin flames, okay? With the lovers, the four of wands and the two of cups here, pile number one, like this is union, okay? Like it may start off as like, you know, a very like flow communication. Again, they may come through a friend. They may be very secretive about this, okay? Because they are very scared of rejection here, pile number one, but... Um, they really do want this with you, okay? So again, um, you are going to get communication. It's going to be maybe like, you know, very sexual, okay? But it is going to grow. All right, pile number one. So that's all I have for you. Um, I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's move on to pile number two. Hey, pile number two. So let's find out. What is this person's next step towards you? What is their next move? So I am getting that they're contemplating on how to move forward. This person feels like that you may um, move away from them, okay? Like they may come forward and you may reject them. They also feel like they don't have a lot to offer compared to you. So they feel like that you're very um, secure, you're very independent, you have your shit together, you have a lot to offer. You're also very loyal. There's also like this innocence about you, okay? Um, and they feel like, okay that they don't really have a lot to offer right now, okay, pile number two. So they want to move forward, they have so much love here for you, but they don't feel like they have a lot to offer. This, maybe they're not financially stable um, compared to you anyway. I'm getting something about parsley, okay, I'm hearing parsley in my head. At first I thought it was parcel, anyway, let me know if that resonates. Um, so this person... I'm getting they could be older than you, okay, pile number one, uh, two, sorry. They could be older than you, okay, and the thing is, is they spent a lot of their younger years, okay, fooling around, I'm hearing, okay, not really getting their shit together, um, and now it's like they're at this age where they feel like that they don't have a lot to offer, okay, they're not um, stable, okay, like, compared to, like, you anyway, and you're their wish fulfillment, like, they want to be the sort of person, like, they feel like that you deserve, like, you know, 
flowers and gifts and they don't have a lot of like resources right now. That is what's stopping this person from moving forward because in their minds they feel like, okay, especially if they're a male, okay, they don't have to be, um, but they are like, like they are a very, they are a very independent person. They do by heart want to, you know, they want you to rely on them. They don't want to rely on you. They also don't want to come into your life and have you look after them because this person doesn't feel very secure, okay? I don't know why I'm getting that their dream was to be a cop and they never pursued it. I don't, that's for somebody and that was very specific there. But let me know if that resonates for you. So you may be like very confused because like this person's not showing up, okay? Again, this person doesn't feel like they got a lot to offer compared to you. And they feel like that they're older than you or they should, okay, be able to provide at their age, right? Um... It's like they want to work on themselves here, okay? That's what's stopping them. So they want to be with you, they want to move forward, but again, they want to work on themselves. They want they want to have um they want to be stable, they want stuff to offer, they want to bring like they want to bring things to the table as well. They don't want to come in relying on you, right? Even if you don't mind if they like come in and rely on you. They don't feel like that is right, pile number two, right? And that's what's stopping them right now. So this person, I'm hearing shower you in gifts. Like they have an image of like, so it's like they want to be with you and only you, okay? Don't stress out pile number two. Thing is, they don't feel like they have a lot to offer, right? Um, now they have love to offer, yes, okay? But there's something within them that want to be able to provide for you, shower you in gifts, like give you the life that you deserve. Um, they feel a very strong connection here to you. They're holding themselves back. Now, there is a message here for you as well, um, for somebody anyway. Pile number two, if they're in a relationship and you're like, well, you know, this person's obviously not interested in me because they're in this relationship, um, they're sort of saying staying stuck in this relationship because they're sort of financially depending on that other person. Um, and they don't feel great about it, but they also don't know how they're going to come out of this, okay? This person's searching for work or they're trying to get money. Um, they feel like that they're stuck because they, they could be financially dependent. Like, literally, they could live with this person, okay? They could be in a um, relationship and they could live with this person and this person could literally be homeless if they leave, okay? Um, so that's the only thing that's really stopping this person um, from coming forward because they do want to be with you. Like, they want the Ten of Pentacles here with you. They want to be with you and only you. You're the only one in their heart. Um, Yeah, but again, this person is not telling you this either because they feel embarrassed. They feel embarrassed, yeah, like, there's something about you where they feel like that you have, um, you're very financially abundant, or very stable at least, okay, like, you have your shit together, okay, um, you're definitely stable, okay, you may, like, dress really well, um, put yourself together really well, and they assume that you've got your shit together, you may actually... I am getting that pile number two, you have your shit together, right? And they, they don't feel that way. They even feel like they don't dress as nice as you, things like that, okay? This person's completely in love with you. Um, you may be confused because they're not showing up. There could be this third party situation that isn't ending, okay? Thing is, this person's dependent on this other person. They feel like they will be left out in the street. Um, again, this person's trying to figure out a way on how to get money. They could, like, literally have lost their job, um, and they're trying to find work right now, okay, because they're not, um, they're not financially, they're financially dependable on somebody else here, okay? And this is why they're not coming forward. Like, this is literally the only reason um, they want to move forward. But they feel like they don't have a lot of money and a lot to offer. They also are the romantic type, okay? They want to, like, be able to send you flowers and take you for coffee. I don't know why I got that. But 
you know, they want to be able to do these things for you and they feel like they're not in a um, condition right now. So this person could have ghosted you or randomly like stopped talking to you and this is why, okay? I'm getting something about football, let me know if I resonate. So this person, okay, they have a lot of love here for you, but they could be denying it right now and putting this on hold, okay, until they do get financially stable. There is, um, this person could very well be in, now this is either a karmic situation um, where they're financially dependent, like the karmic is sort of like the breadwinner and, you know, they're dependent on the karmic and they feel like if they leave, like, all, like they won't be able to like they won't have anywhere to live sort of thing um and there's another situation where they could live with their parents and they're sort of like scared of that situation like they're scared to tell you that they live with their parents um not because they're scared that you're going to judge them but it's just like they're ashamed okay they feel like they should be able to look after themselves at um at this age okay and I don't know how old they are, but that's what I heard. So this person, if there's no karmic involved, this person literally is single. You're the only one for them. They're staying single. There's no one else for them. They're not entertaining anybody else. They don't want anyone else. They're obsessing over you. Um, but again, they don't want to come in and they, they don't want to be a burden, right? This person actually could be doing like... They could either be manifesting or spell work, I'm hearing from money, right? Um, they're like trying the most, so they can hurry up and <laughs> contact you because they feel a lot of passion here towards you, they want to be with you, it's like they're ready to be with you, but again, they want to be able to provide as well. Like, they don't want to be a burden, right? I'm getting something about Spain, please let me know if that resonates, and I just need two, 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 two. Yeah, okay, so you guys, okay, are twin flames, or, like, this is a very strong soul connection, um, and you guys are meant to be together, but then this person not communicating here, okay, and again, they don't feel like they've got a lot to offer, um, that's why they're taking a step back. They're scared of what you're going to think, okay, there's something about the income, okay, or for some of them, they're living with their parents, okay, they're scared of what you're going to think. So this person is confusing because it's like they took two steps back and then they took a step forward and they took a step back again and <laughs> they want to come forward, they love you so much. Um, I do see that there is a love offer coming in from this person. Yeah, but this person is trying to step into their power right now and I just think 333, three, okay? They're really trying to balance out their situation right now. Yeah, it's like they've put this on hold, okay? Again, you have no worries about this person pile number two because they want to be with you, but they've put this on hold until they feel like they're stable enough to come forward. They step back into their power here. And this is why they're not speaking to you, but don't worry, they are watching you, and you're the only one on their heart, okay? But they feel like if they do come forward now, they're going to cause burden in your life. Like, you're, they're going to have to depend on you, right? Wow, this person literally knows that you're their twin flame. Like, this masculine here knows. I'm hearing get rich. Wow, so they could actually be trying right now um, ways on how to get rich, okay? They literally, like, they want to be with you, but this whole, like, them not feeling stable, um... They feel like, you know, you deserve to be showered in gifts. They're not realising that love is enough here. Um, and they're not showing you anything, which is making you very confused. But they're not realising that. They're trying to get their shit together so they can have, like, happily ever after with you. So, their next move. Okay. 
okay, so I am getting that this person, they are trying to send you a message, but then they're holding themselves back because they're scared, they don't have a lot to offer again. Um, and you may think this is an illusion. Um, this person's actually going to come in and shock you, okay, with some type of communication. Um, this person is realizing that you could be moving on and you may not be realizing, like, you know, what's going on in their head. You could be dealing with a Cancer, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with an Aries or an Aquarius um, or a Gemini, I'm hearing. So they get a lot of signs about you, okay, and it's like they know about the connection and they're going to come forward and give you some type of, like, closure, okay, because I'm getting that they've been ignoring this connection all together. Maybe they're ghosting you and they want to be with you, but they just don't feel like they're, like, stable enough here. Yeah, so they've been hiding their truth. I am getting... And this is what's stopping this brand in the beginning, okay? So this is just like, as soon as they come forward, like, this is happily ever after, okay? And this is why they want to come forward, but they feel like, again, like, yeah, they, they stop themselves, okay? They stop themselves. Um, so their next move, there is going to be some type of, like, message they send because they're realizing that you could be moving on with somebody else and not realizing what's going on in their head. Um, they realize that this causes a lot of conflict, but they don't really know how to tell you. For some of you, I am getting that they could be talking to you on a, on a secret account or something. Like, there's some type of secret communication, but I don't know, it's weird. But, um, yeah, it's very, I don't know, I'm hearing catfish. Yeah, damn, okay. Um, alright, so that's all I have for you, part number two. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's move on to part number three. All right, part number three, let's find out what is this person's next move towards you? Okay, so this person, this definitely could be your divine masculine, okay? This person is extremely scared of heartbreak. Okay, they're extremely scared of putting their um, self in situations where their heart potentially could get broken. Okay, something in the past has happened to this person where they either got cheated on or hurt. Um, this was very unexpected and they've had a hard time healing from this. Instead, they decide to close off to love. Um, now, the fact that they feel such a very strong connection to you, it scares them. It's like they're looking at this like very defensive. They want to move forward towards you, but again, they are assuming that if they do move towards this, because they have so much... This person fell in love with you instantly, and because... And over time, the love grew, okay? And they feel like if they put themselves in that position, that they're going to get their heart broken, okay? They are living in fear, okay, of getting their heart broken, right? Like... You could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries here. Definitely could be your Divine Masculine. It's like this person feels like if they just don't go for this, if they just like ignore this um, and run away into an option where they don't have to be so emotionally available. Um, now, because this person has been in options, okay? Like they've had people that... It's like... It's not like they opened up their heart, okay? They opened up their heart, like, once. They got it broken, okay? It didn't work out. They didn't heal, and they closed their heart off. And this person finds it hard, okay? Because they try to put logic to everything, okay? Like, they're like, oh, well, if I go for this connection, I'm just going to get my heart broken because I feel all these connections, like, oh, I feel all these feelings to this person. I feel this strong connection to this person. So... It's like they put this, like, wall up, and they see this beautiful, um, divinely guided connection being, like, handed to them, and they're looking at it in a very stubborn way, like, they're not going to take it because this could happen, right? Um, they do love you, though. They love you, but they don't want to put emo- like, they've put their emotions- to the side, and they are looking at this from a very logical standpoint here. This person knows quite well that you're their wish fulfillment. Um, 
they know quite well that they're supposed to be with you because spirit is literally talking to them. Spirit is literally telling them to do something about the connection, do something about their feelings, but they decide to just stand there and watch and let their logic take over instead of listening to spirit, instead of listening to their heart, instead of listening to what they truly want. They decide to build this wall um, just in case they get hurt. Like... So I am getting, <coughs> excuse me, um, this person could be really confident with like other options, like other people and you're really confused because it's like, well, they're not going towards you at all. Yeah, this person, they treat you like, um, they could be very harsh to you, very mean to you. They show you no emotion, they're not showing you how they truly feel. So if they are have like if they do have other options, literally, they just feel like that they're gonna go for that because this they would have to like put their heart into, and they don't want to get their heart broken. They also know it's the twin flame journey. Like this person knows, and they're not taking any movement towards it. There could be a third party involved, staying stuck in a very codependent, toxic situation not going toward what their heart truly desires. This person, like, they they feel a strong connection, they want a stable relationship here with you, but they, they could have, like, cut you off or maybe blocked you or they're just not, I'm hearing, ignored you. They're just not coming forward. They keep trying to ignore the connection and they know they can't ignore it because they keep getting signs about it and they feel strong love here for you. So you could be dealing with a Libra here, you could be dealing with a Leo, you could be dealing with a Capricorn or a Scorpio. So this person, okay, they started to feel strong feeling for you instantly and they started to get very defensive about it. Um, they put a wall up, as I said. Um, they feel like there is no way they can go towards this because they would have to put their heart into this. And again, this person has a fear of getting hurt. They also could come off as very, um, like they don't have much emotion, but it's just like, they don't like to show emotion at any cost. They like to, they like to be strong, okay, or like show that, okay. This person literally, what? This person's in love with you and they're going against it. Okay, so this person, they're very unhealed at the moment, okay. They are trying to avoid this at all costs. They are very intimidated by this connection, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a Gemini or a Capricorn. It's like they could have friend zoned you, they could have blocked you, they could have had a fight with you. They're literally pretending that they don't feel this. This person's having an ego death though, that's what's happening to them. This connection is driving this person into an ego death, okay, where they're bringing down all their walls, okay, they're opening up their heart chakra again, so it's like they stop running away from love, okay, and stop trying to, and stop trying to put logic into this connection, okay. So I'm getting you haven't heard from this person in a long time, they're having some type of spiritual awakening here, okay. Um, they're going through a very conflicting time in their life. This person has a habit of reacting too quickly, okay? They cut people off 
real quick. Okay, that could have happened with with you and them, okay? And then they're really upset about it, okay? Now, this connection, um, this is guiding them to become a better person. Um, they know they're in love with you. They're having an ego death right now. And their next move is not actually coming up here because they're going through a lot of healing. But I am getting the union is coming. This is like one of those readings where it's like divine timing is definitely taking play here because this person has decided to walk away from love like consciously not subconsciously consciously decide like no i can't do this because i will like get myself hurt because i feel a lot okay they're usually like most emotionally unavailable in connection but they feel like they can't be in this connection yeah so this is like this reading spirit is not telling me what their next move is, okay? But they do want you to have faith, trust in the process. No union is coming in divine timing, okay? Um, recognize the signs, okay? Use your intuition. And yeah, there's a lot of healing going on in this pile, okay? So that's all I have for you. Pile number three, I really hope this resonates. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.